Hello everyone, welcome to the Only Watches channel. Omega is currently one of the most well-known and esteemed premium Swiss watch companies in the world. The brand's horological history dates back to the late 19th century. It continues to combine its legacy with innovation to produce some of the finest watches on the market. Today's video will go through the top Omega watches that you can buy this year. Additional product details can be found at the links I've provided below. So without further ado, let's get started. Number 1. Omega Seamaster Diver 300 meters. Omega's longest-running product series, the Seamaster, has been in production since 1948. It was based on plans for the British Royal Navy near the close of World War II. The Omega Seamaster Diver 300 meters has been refined over the course of 25 years while maintaining loyalty to its initial design. It is driven by the Master Chronometer Caliber 8800 and measures 42 millimeters in diameter. It has a date window at 6 o'clock and a gas release valve to accommodate saturation divers. Since 1995, every new James Bond film has featured Agent 007 wearing an Omega Seamaster watch. Lindy Hemming, who won an Oscar for her costumes, is said to have told Omega, I was sure that Commander Bond, a Navy man, a diver, and a gentleman of the world, would wear the Seamaster with the blue dial. Pierce Brosnan debuted the Seamaster Diver 300 meters in the film Goldeneye, which starred James Bond. Since then, it has appeared in Casino Royale, starring Daniel Craig. Number 2. Omega Seamaster Planet Ocean 600 meters. Omega's second significant diver's watch is the Seamaster Planet Ocean 600 meters. The Omega Seamaster Planet Ocean 600 meters, which debuted in 2005, features exceptional water resistance and master chronometer accreditation. The movement can withstand magnetic fields of up to 15,000 Gauss and passes eight tests done by the Swiss Federal Institute of Metrology, METAS. The indices, hour hand, minute hand, and second hand are coated with superluminova, which makes them glow in the dark for greater visibility underwater or in low-light circumstances. The Planet Ocean 600 meters is another Seamaster that has been in recent James Bond movies, like 2008's Quantum of Solace. Number 3. Omega Constellation Globemaster The Omega Constellation was made in 1952 to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the company's founding in La Choc de Fonds. It is still one of Omega's most famous and well-known watches. Since 1982, the Griffs or Claws at 3 and 9 o'clock, as well as the Star Emblem at 6 o'clock on all Constellation models, have distinguished the majority of Constellation models for both men and women. Cindy Crawford, a model and actress, has worn the Omega Constellation for many years, serving as a brand ambassador. The 39mm Constellation Globemaster is distinguishable from other constellations due to its fluted bezel. The Pi Pan Dial, first made famous by the Constellation in 1952, is likewise distinctive. The Constellation Globemaster Yearly Calendar has an annual calendar complexity that is popular among Constellation Globemaster fans. Number 4. Omega Coaxial Master Chronometer GMT Word Timer Now for a watch that is not designed primarily for diving, but rather for traveling the world, this timepiece retains the Seamaster trademark, but is now known as the World Timer. The World Timer is a 43mm watch with automated movement and a power reserve of 60 hours. The face features cities from across the world, including Omega's home of being, sorted in order of time zone. Cities in black comply with daylight saving time, Cities in blue do not, and London is printed in red to indicate GMT. The dial of the watch is made of sapphire crystal. In the middle is a handmade enamel map of the world, and around it is a 24-hour display. From December 2019, the world timer is available in different colors. A platinum version with a brown leather strap will be limited to 87 pieces. Number 5. Omega Speedmaster Moonwatch Born in 1957, the Speedmaster was conceived as a watch for driving. As a result, the tachymeter on its non-rotating bezel is utilized to determine the average speed of a vehicle traveling a specified distance. When U.S. astronauts Walter Shira and Gordon Cooper each bought a Speedmaster in 1962 to use at work, the watch's purpose changed from the racetrack to the space race. Along with watches from Rolex and Longines Wittenauer, the timepiece was subjected to rigorous testing meant to imitate life on a space rocket and on the moon. The Omega Speedmaster came out on top, and as a result, NASA approved it for flight. It is the only watch in the world to have been worn on the moon, and as a result, its design has stayed almost untouched since 1969. 
Today's Speedmaster comes with three straps, one in leather or stainless steel. Your option, a fabric NATO strap and a Velcro extension strap for wearing the watch over the sleeve of your spacesuit. If you guys like this video or this video helped you, please give the video a like. Links to all the products mentioned are in the description below. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Till next time, I will see you guys later.